What's going on guys, and this is gonna be the third episode of me playing Firewatch. Now, as you saw in the previous episode, they just broke into my tower, as you can see. And now the watch girl lady has just called us. So let's pick up the radio. I'm awake, I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Mm -hmm. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, yeah of course. So, you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Okay. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, alright. Alright, so now I have to go back down to the cave. No, I don't know if I can go down here. I hope I can. Okay, I guess we can. Oh god, he actually jumps down. This guy has got balls. Alright, so let's just run down so we can get to this freaking pole or whatever. What? What, what was that? Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep... Hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. Damn, there's a lot of fog. So. Why, have you? Okay, good. Uh, hey, your button no, is still down. No, I don't down. think he has any idea. Delilah, I can hear you. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? Huh? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Okay, so I guess I have to get Hey, back. sorry oh. about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. North. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Okay. Well, stop bitching around. Alright, so... Now we need to find this freaking bush. I mean this box. If it's anywhere here. Hopefully it is. No. She did say I need to go north. But there's no the way north. Okay, I, I think I found some kind of line. A utility pole. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Well, follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Uh, what's this room? Let's check this thing out. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. 
the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Hmm. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Let's check this crap out. On. Mm, that's it. So let's get into this house and check out what there is inside. Uh, hopefully, we don't need to break. Oh, okay. Scratch that. Okay, this place just got burnt the flip down. This is creepy as hell. Destroyed guitar. Hmm. I don't I guess we don't need that. Burnt bed. Uh, it seems like this guy actually might have burned the house down himself. Anyways, there seems to be nothing in here. So I guess we can get out of this place. And yeah, just let's get out. And continue our little journey to find the end of this wire and see if it's broken. place uh, but I can see the wires cut up there so that might be the problem I guess I hope there's no animals around here that can possibly kill me oh beer can I'll just clean those get up so most probably those girls were over here as well uh, uh, so those kids most probably freaking cut this line since there is like evidence of them being around here so hmm. hope they didn't break into my house as well Oh uh, well, this is beer. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These <laughs> fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay, the wires down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. Yep. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Yeah. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. 
I yeah, doubt they're be. where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Now there was no beer cans on that side, so I'm guessing they went through here, maybe. But I'm not exactly sure. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Wait, so we cannot... Okay, we cannot clear that. So I'm guessing we do have to pass from over there. So... Maybe they did take that hill down? Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but most probably they did. So let's just get down here. And hopefully find a way down. Hmm. Now I, I guess I'm guessing they went down this way. Whoa, yep. And there's a backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it nope. looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Okay, so let's drop that crap. And pick up whatever is inside it, so we can make use of it. Oh god. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. Yeah. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Let's take Do a photo. Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Wait, that actually looks like a. a it was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad Ned three summers Wait, ago. Get the frick down. Great kid. Come on. You can bring children oh. out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. It took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Yeah. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Yeah. Uh, there's a loose stone. I don't think I can do anything with that. And there's a claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Looks like a freaking raptor claw from... What I can see, anyways, uh, let's just continue. There's nothing over there, and I don't know what the frick that column of smoke is. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Okay. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. There's a burnt tree. Okay, seems like there was a fire down here. But now it's stopped, so let's just worry about how we're gonna get up next to that fire. Fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, <laughs> the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, 
You've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! No, it isn't. Okay, so I think we, we're getting closer. Hopefully. <laughs> Hope this rope doesn't freaking snap like the other one. Cause then we're in total crap. Uh okay, so there's the other one. Sorry if I speak a bit low sometimes, like you won't even hear me. But the microphone is actually close, it's just me. I get really tired of talking. As in my throat starts to hurt when I talk a lot, and hey, I'll just sorry lower about down. snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. Yep. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. But leaving her alone might have been a bad thing. Uh, but sometimes when someone's bad and you end up with them a lot, it turns out that makes you bad also. And you'll both end up being fucked. Wait, so I lost the trail. Oh god. I'm just gonna follow this way and see whatever. Oh. Well, that's where they were. And this is where the fire was. Wait, what's all this noise? And they're not here. Great. Someone turned off the fire. And I cannot see. Oh, yes, I can. Now let's go over there. Seems like we found another trail. Let's get into it. Okay, so now how do we get up there? Let's just go around. He will find a way in. But I think it's gonna be a freaking long way around. Hope it isn't. Okay, so let's hook this rope. And the music is kinda relaxing of this game. And it gives it a good, a really good tone and mood, I feel. Physics aren't too bad either of the rope, so yeah. I think it's a really well made game for any people that like adventure games that is and like storytelling games because I love them. Sometimes you know you have to take a break from all those shooting games. And just chill out. Okay, so there's another box here, so let's open that. Maybe we find some gold. Uh, but I doubt it. Missing person. Mitch Michaels. 31. 6'2, damn, he's freaking tall. 165 pounds, 
short brown hair. Uh, distinctive. Uh, mm -hmm. Was first reported missing, 1981. Damn. Maybe it's that guy. And he decided to, you know, stay. Oh no! Oh god! I'll open this freaking thing Ooh. and write that. So those for you that didn't know that I am writing are uh, the trails where I can pass through. But you know who needs a map over here? Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Really? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting okay. paid to learn all of these amazing things? That's very cool. Also, right? uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yeah. Uh... But I can't see the smoke anymore. Well, there's a waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Oh god, there's more clothes. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Uh, wait. Could there be, like, something in the waterfall? Like a cave? Maybe? I don't think we can get over there. Uh, I can't see nothing in the water, so let's just check between these two boulders if there's anything behind them. Alright, so the game is saving, so it seems like we're doing progress. Okay, so I found the campfire. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Uh, I don't think there's anyone in here. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. Holy crap. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh-oh. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Yep. There's a note. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever. And tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer. And you are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Well, oh, they're gone, me. for sure. Well, what's it say? to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. 
Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Anyways, that's day three. The, I mean, the end of day two, so... Um, okay, this is gonna be the end of this episode. I'm gonna try and do it day and day. And... I hope you enjoyed it. So, yeah. Peace out.